Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from Revival today. Um, this is for August the 1st, and this is August 1st, 1899. Longing and looking for revival. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I will dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Isaiah fifty-seven fifteen. One of Moody's last Northfield conferences called the General Conference of Christian Workers began on August 1st, 1899. Back in June, he had written a letter inviting preachers to the conference and explaining its purpose. All of God's people who are interested in the study of his word and in the development of their Christian lives in a revival of the spiritual life of the church in the, com in the conversion of sinners and in the evangelism of the world are cordially invited to be present. Many thoughtful men have come to feel strongly that the hope of the church today is in deep and widespread revival. We are confronted with difficulties that can be met in no other way. The enemy has come in like a flood. It is time for those who believe in a supernatural religion to look to God to lift up a standard against him. Oh, for a revival of such power that the tide of unbelief and worthiness that is sweeping in upon us shall be beaten back, that every Christian shall be lifted to a higher level of power and multitudes of perishing souls be converted to God. Why not? God's arm is not shortened, nor his ear heavy. I believe the sound of the going in the tops of the mulberry trees have already been heard. Of course, if you don't read the scripture, you're not going to understand that one, are you? But I wonder what Moody would sense if he were alive today. I'm convinced he would be even more convinced that the only hope of our nation is a revival. Not just a revival Sunday or a week of meetings on the church calendar, but a mighty moving of God in our lives. It must start with broken men and humanity. It is a contrite and humble spirit that God visits in revival. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Psalm 138.6, revival is still a long way off if we are not willing to humble ourselves and repent of our sins. <clears throat> that book talks of revival maybe doesn't fit everybody you would think because maybe not everybody that watches this uh, is a believer. Is it possible that the reason you're not is the other people who watch this are, uh, but maybe they're not <laughs> encouraged and praying for revival. And if we were and a revival were to take place, the people who maybe watch this who aren't may see more of a spark and say, whatever it is they have, I want. So my prayer is today, this song says, beg, steal, or borrow. Life is swiftly passing by. Here it is, the 1st of August. Next thing you know, it'll be Christmas. Next thing you know, it'll be summer again. It just flies by. If we had hope in this life only, the Apostle Paul said, we would be of all men most miserable. So I'm glad there's more to look forward to than just here. But what is here flies by as well. Life is with me passing by. There are many things I need to do and say. And as I 
I've often wondered if the role is called of yonder. Have I done enough for Jesus today? After all is said and done, my appointed time has come. I can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so I better get ready for Jesus today. No, I can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so I better get ready for Jesus today. Time won't stand still for any man And it seems like Father Time is on the run And can I truly say that I've done enough today If today would be the day the Jesus comes And if I'm turned away I'll have no more time to pray I can't beg, steal, or borrow One more tomorrow So I'd better get ready for Jesus today No, I can't beg, steal, or borrow One more tomorrow So I'd better get ready for Jesus today You can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so you'd better get ready for Jesus today. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would bless, Lord. I pray to God that you will send revival to our land, Lord, and to those who and no doubt need it the most. We love you. We thank you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, folks. I know there are a lot of things you could be doing today outside of watching this, but if you have chose to watch it, uh, I pray that God blesses you and you get some kind of encouragement from it. See you Friday.